good morning today we are going to see the first video which help us to prepare for examination of insem as well as nptel examination now we will switch over to uh, this simple beam we will say and we are interested to find the reaction so we have ra and rb now whenever we have any load that may be udl that may be uvl we have to write to total load over here do not replace the load so we have total load what will be value of total load 40 into 4 so we have this load that is 160 kilo newtons now where it will act so it will act at two meter from this end as well as it is uh, rectangle. So it will always act at center. So it is two meter from here. Now, so I will mention this as C. I will mention this as D. Then we have two unknowns. We have RA as unknown and we have RB as unknown. We have to find these two unknowns. So we have two equilibrium in this case. We have one equilibrium that is summation. Fy is equal to zero and then we have summation of moment equal to zero. We cannot use equation of Fx zero because we cannot. Have any horizontal unknown. So we have two unknowns, two equations. So now we will take moment about A first because if I will consider Fy0, then I will be with two unknowns in that equation. But if I will take moment about, you can take A or you can take B. So let us moment about B0. Now what we will get RA into, what is distance between A and B? 8 meter. So I will write RA into 8. Then we have moment due to this concentrated, uh, sorry, due to UD, UDL, which is 160 kilonewton at 2 meter from D. So it is its distance from B. So we have this as 2 meter. Then we have this as 3 meters because total we have 8. 4 we have UDL, 1 meter we have A to C. So D to B we will get it as 3 meters. So total we will have 8 meters. So we have two meters from this to D and three meters from D to B. So I will get it as five meters. Then we have RA into eight. Then we have minus 160 into five and that is equal to zero. And from this I will get value of RA that is equal to 160 into five divided by eight. And this will gives me 8 to the and 25 the value we will get it as 100 kilonewton. Now I will apply Fy0. So we have summation Fy equal to 0. And then we will get Ra minus 160 plus Rb and that is equal to 0. Now we know value of Ra is 100 minus 160 plus RB and that is equal to zero and we will get value of RB that is equal to 60 kilonewton. So we have RA 100 kilonewton and RB we have 60 kilonewton. If you have any doubt about value of RB then you have another choice you can take moment about a equal to zero and then we have as rb will develop anti-clockwise moment so minus rb into eight then due to 160 we have clockwise so plus 160 now what is distance between this two plus one three meters so we have this distance as three meters so we have plus 160 into three and that is equal to zero. And from this we will get RB that is equal to 160 into three divided by eight. And that is again 60 kilonewton. So you can find any ways 
This is the simplest problem we have considered where we are only UDL. Now we will go with this another problem and we are again interested to find value of RA. No horizontal load, so HA will be zero. And then we have this will be RD. Name you have to keep in mind of the joints. Do not say RB. Now we have 2.5, so total load will act at center. And we have this will be 10 into 2.5. And that is equal to 25 kilonewtons. Now we will take again two reactions unknown. We have two. We have unknown is RA. We have unknown is RD. Now two, two equations. So first now we will take moment about D0. Why A0? Why we are taking A0? Because we will get directly this distance as 1.25 meters. And this is again 1.25 meters because center of 2.5. So 2.5 by 2, 1.25 meters. Then we will take moment about A and then we will get it as RA into zero because taking about A only minus, sorry, plus due to 25 clockwise plus 25 into 1.25. Then due to 20 kilonewtons, so we have 2.5 plus 3.5. So we have this distance equal to six meters from A to C. And then we have plus again, 20 into 6 and due to RD anti-clockwise, so minus RD into 7 and that is equal to 0. And if we will calculate value of RD from this, so we have 25 into 1.25 plus 20 into 6 and divided by 7 gives us 21.61 kilonewtons. 21.607, so we can write it as 61 kilonewtons. So we have this value 21.61 kilonewtons. Then we will have Fy0. Then we have Ra minus 25 downward, minus 20 downward, plus RD and that is equal to zero. And from this we will get RA equal to 45 minus 21.61 and we will get it as 23.39 kilonewtons. Now if you want to take moment about D0, then how we will get it as moment about D equal to zero. Then we have clockwise RA into 7 minus because due to load now we have anti clockwise. Now we have to find this distance. So this is 1.5, so 3.5 and 1. So 4.5 plus 1.25, and we will get it as 5.75. This is one. Another you can have total as 7 meter. So 7 minus 1.25, this distance, that also gives me 5.75. So RA into 7 minus 25 into 5.75, then minus 20 into 1, and that is equal to 0, gives me value of RA equal to area of this. So I have one half into 40 into three, and this will gives me total load 20 into three. That will be 60 kilonewtons. 
Now where it will act? Now this is the right angle, so it will act at one meter because L by three, so one meter from D, and then we have this will be two by three, and then we have this distance as two meter from C. We are interested to find out value of R A and R B. Now let us we will take moment about A zero, and then we will get mine. Plus due to this UVL, so 60 into, so we have this distance. This will be three meters. So we have 60 into three minus RB into six. That is equal to zero. So we will get this as RB equal to 60 into three. Divided by six will be thirty kilo newtons. Now we will go for F Y zero, and then we will have R A minus sixty plus R B, and that is equal to zero. And we will get R A is equal to sixty minus thirty, and that is thirty kilo newton. Now we can check it R A by another way also. So we will take moment about B equal to zero, and we will get this as R A into six minus sixty into. Now we have to go with this distance. So we have this also three meters. So sixty into three, and that is equal to zero. We will get from this also R A same value thirty kilo newton. So we have R A that is equal to 30 kilo newton. R B also we have same 30 kilo newton. Now these are the simple problems. Now I will go with the problem where we have internal hinge. Now you can see we have this as internal hinge. So what is advantage of this internal hinge internal hinge we have moment from left equal to zero and moment from right that is also equal to zero right equal to zero So now, how many unknowns? No horizontal force, so no horizontal reaction. So we have one, then moment two, and then we have this reaction R B three. So we have three unknowns. Now, how many equilibrium equations we have? We have two equilibrium equations, which are sigma F Y zero, and then we have. Now you can see two equations: moment from left zero. This is about hinge. So one equation and moment from right equal to zero about hinge that is also equal to zero. So moment equation two. So now we have three unknowns. We have three equations. So now we will take moment about. So I will mention it as C. So moment about C zero. And I will consider a right part only. Right part only. So what I will get? So we have, if we will see, we have total load, and we have that total load that is equal to intensity of UDL into distance. So we have this is 50 into 2, which is equal to 100 kilonewton, and then moment about C zero. So what? Where it will act? It will act at center. So one meter, and then we have minus R B into two plus hundred into one. That is equal to zero, and therefore we will get R B that is equal to fifty kilonewtons. So now we got value of R B fifty kilonewton. So if we will draw. Free body diagram. Then we have free body diagram in this way. This is R A, 
we have this is ma we have this 90 kN at 2 meter then we have internal hinge at 1 meter and then we have this udl which is again of 2 meters So 50 kilonewton per meter, and this is R B. So now we have R B 50 kilonewton. Now take summation F Y equal to zero, and then we have R A minus 90 minus we have calculated this value total load, which is 50 into 2 100 kilonewton also downward. So we have minus 100. And plus R B equal to zero, and from this we will get value of R B equal to 190 minus 50, and that is 140 kilonewtons. Now we will take moment about C zero. Moment about C zero, but that is from left. from left and then we have minus ma left of c plus now value of ra we got it as 140 kN so i will directly take plus 140 into 3 so we have this as 2 meter this is 1 meter 3 and due to 90 we have minus 90 into 1 and that is equal to 0 and we will get value of ma is equal to 140 into 3 420 minus 90 and we will get this value as 330 kN meter and we got value as plus we have assumed direction anti clockwise so we have this as anti clockwise kN meter so likewise we can find this value Uh, by using equilibrium equations and we will have this as uh, calculations when we have internal hinge now you can see you can take a moment about b0 and then also you will get value for this so if i will take moment about b0 then we have minus ma plus 140 into 5 minus 90 into 3 minus 100 into 2 100 into 1 equal to 0 you will get again ma 330 kN meter so likewise we can find problems of internal hinge by using equilibrium equations so today we will stop here only so we will see again problems on internal hinge in next video so thank you